Good morning. This is a video where a user has some data and he wants to spread it using a Walsh code. Are you ready? So what we have, we have user number one and the user number one has some data. So those are two bits that the user wants to send and the user is also going to spread the signal. And the user is going to spread that signal with a Walsh code and that's the Walsh code they're going to use. So we start with the code and you apply the code to the first bit. So the first bit is this one. So we put the data here. So the, data, the first bit is a zero so you just repeat it like that. Then you apply the code again to the next bit like that. And then you use the exclusive OR. And what is exclusive OR? It's when they're the same, you get zero. And when they're different, you get one. So these are the same. You get zero. Different, you get one. Zero, one. And same is zero, different is one. Like that. So then you can say that user number one has a spread message that looks like this. So the data itself is two bits and the spread message is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chips. Good morning. So uh, we've already spread user one's data and now we're going to do the same with user number two. So we have user number two. And user number two has some data. The data two bits, one and zero. And user number two has a spreading code as well. So we're going to spread user number two's data the same way we did with user number one, except the data is different and the code is different. So spread the signal. You start with the code and the data. So the code is 0, 0, 1, 1, and the first bit is 1. So we put the data like that. The first bit is 1. And then we do the code again, same code, second bit is a zero. And then we again do the XOR, different is one, same as zero, so different is one, one, these are the same, same, same is zero, different is one. So then we have user number two, spread message. which works out to be one one zero 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 one one and just like the first time we started out with two bits and we end up with one two three four five six seven eight chips good morning so now we have uh, We've already spread user 1's data and user 2's data. We're going to do that with number 3. So we have user number 3. The data is 1, 1. And user number 3 also has spreading code, which is different from the rest of them. Each user has a unique code, and each user has its own data. Then we will spread the signal. The code and the data, just like before. So the code here is we go the data is the first bit goes here, the second bit goes here. 
4, and we know that if it's different, it's 1. If it's the same as 0 in all of these cases, we end up with that. So then we have user number 3, spread message, looks like this. Just like before, we started with two bits, and now we have eight chips. Okay, so we have three users, and each user has its own data, and each user signal has been spread with a unique code. So now we want to combine all three signals. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to create waveforms. So how we're going to do that? Well, I've decided that I want to represent a zero bit as plus one volts, and I want to represent a one bit as minus one volts. So that's what I've decided to do. So watch this. So I've got here user one, and that's the spread signal, eight chips user 2, spread signal 8 chips, user 3, spread signal 8 chips. So this is what we came up with in the last few videos when we took the data and spread it. So now waveform, I'm going to say this is plus 1 volt, this is minus 1, and what did I say? I said a 0 is plus 1, so I'm going to go like this. That's 0, that's a 1, that's a 0, that's a 1, that's a 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's user 1. User 2, if that's plus 1 and that's minus 1, then a 1, that's minus 1, so we'll like that. Like that. And user 3, well this one will be easy, plus 1 and minus 1. So uh, 1 bit is minus 1 volts, so So I have three unique waveforms which represents the spread signal. That's what we've got so far. Okay, so we have user 1, user 2, user 3. We've created waveforms which represents each user. But if we had all of these users using the same frequency at the same time, then the resulting signal would actually be this signal added to this signal added to this signal. So that's what we'll do. So what do we got here? We've got plus 1, minus 1, and minus 1. What's 1, minus 1, minus 1? That'd be minus 1, I think. Okay, so then we have a minus 1, and a minus 1, and a minus 1. That sounds like minus 3 to me. Plus 1, plus 1, that's 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And minus 1, plus 1, minus 1 works out to minus 1. So this one is plus 1, plus 1, minus 1. That's 1. And then we have minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. It turns out to minus 1. Plus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. That works out to minus 3. So if we wanted to create a composite waveform, waveform. So this would be the waveform that every single user receives. So if we have, let's say, 3 volts, 2 volts, 1, 0, minus 1. So this is just a, so 0 would be here. I'm going to represent this minus 1. Here's minus 1. And then minus 3. I know you can't see that. There. And this is up to 1 down to minus 1, back up to 1, minus 1, minus 1, and minus 3. So this here is if we took each individual user's signal, converted it to a waveform, added them all together, 
So every user's every user's signal is here. So every receiver is going to receive every uh, every receiver is going to receive the composite signal. Okay, this is the best part. Are you ready? So this is user one. User one is uh, we have the data and the spreading code and the, the signal has been spread and then combined with the signal from two other users so we have a com composite waveform which contains three users worth of data contains three users data so what we're going to do is we're going to take the user one code user one code and what is that code let's look it up uh, we use the code 0101 so if we convert that to a waveform, the zero bit was represented as plus one volts, and the one bit was represented as minus one. So this would be plus one volts, and these ones are minus one volts. So zero one zero one would look like plus one minus one like that. Zero one zero one, and we apply the code again. Zero one zero one. This is the magical part. Then we multiply them. So we have minus one times plus one. We end up with minus one. We have minus three times minus one. We end up with plus three. We have one times one. And we have minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. So then we go, hmm, what does that work out to be? One, uh, minus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. But this is occurring 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so we average that out. It works out to be 1. Okay, so now we'll just try this one. Plus 1 times plus one, one. Minus one times minus one, one. Minus one times plus one, minus one. Minus three times minus one is three. So what do we got here? We've got uh, one plus one is two, minus one is one, plus three is four. Huh. That's four, but then we, four is occurring so we're dividing it by 4 equals 1. So we have a plus 1 and a plus 1, but this is really 1 volt. Plus 1 volt represents a 0 bit, and plus 1 represents a 0 bit, which if I show you the original thing that we looked at, remember this? User 1's original data, 0 and 0. So you see what happened was, user 1 spread the signal with a spreading code, user 2 did the same, user 3 did the same, all those three signals were added together, then we applied user 1's code to that composite signal, and magically, the original data was recovered, 0 and 0. So now you can try it for user 2 and 3, and hopefully you will find that the same thing happens.